holidays nale ad namma gt holidays da south india's number one travel brand embrace the new era of learning 5d this is the state of this country you make a film against terrorism and you are imprisoned in your own house and hello vivek agnotri welcome to color of plus hello hello you know while i was walking down to meet you to, to this place where we were talking i noticed a, like policemen and all the security the the that y plus the crpf and all yeah yeah, yeah. But what is this this is the state of this country you make a film against terrorism and you are imprisoned in your own house and uh, then people want to kill you but if you make a film uh, with sympathetic attitude towards the terrorists then you go to film festivals pick up awards and get written in the best of the places is this still about the kashmir files is oh yeah Yeah, okay yeah. so even at home you have the security or... yeah all the time 24/7 i have got a y plus category security okay. because there are death threats on me there are fatwas right, on me right there are fatwas yeah. yeah okay wow wow that must be a tough way to how do you make films then because no but but a lot of people can call this propaganda this is i mean they can say this is all fake I, to... i'm not calling that because i've never seen you're not calling it. but i mean a lot of people think it's all fake with this situation how do you go out there and make a film i mean I don't know. There are a lot of then these people are around me all the times, and they have to secure me, and uh, they have to secure the place where I'm shooting. And we shot vaccine war with uh, a whole lot of security. And, wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you mean every single outdoor scene has got to be a bit of a danger for you then? Yeah. I mean that's what I'm given to understand, but I'm daring, so I do it. I'm advised not to shoot outdoor, but I we shot the entire film outdoor, the vaccine war. Yeah. Right. Let's begin with one thing about your journey. As far as I'm concerned, to my knowledge, the only other filmmaker who's had such a graph is Anubhav Sinha, and I'm not comparing the both of you, but you start out with fairly commercial fare like Chocolate and uh, Junoonyat and all these films. I didn't get Junoonyat. Oh, I didn't did finish it. it. I started never. Okay, finished. started. Okay, and then hate story and all these. Yeah, films. hate story I made. Yeah. Zid I never made. Yeah, Anubhav Sena made that. Right, and then suddenly we see you with Tashkent Files. What is the transition there? Okay, good you asked me that. And uh, see, I was not. It's not that I had a dream that one day I'll become a filmmaker. I was in advertising, right. and, and the, you're a mass com person. Yeah, mass yeah. com person. Then I went to Harvard. Then I worked with JWT, and we launched Coke and uh, Gillette and all these yeah. uh, products in India. And so I was a hardcore advertising person. It's coincidentally I uh, got to do a film called Chocolate. Before that, I was doing a film called Aram, which was based on Beaufort's scam. Okay. We had signed Nasiruddin Shah and Rajit Kapoor, but then last minute financiers backed out. and then the fastest way to make a film at that time was to show a vcr of a foreign film a hollywood film and any star would say okay without even knowing what they were doing so in 15 days i finished the casting of chocolate that's how my journey in uh, this thing began but after making chocolate and goal huh. uh, since i was i'm not saying it out of arrogance but definitely i had studied a lot i'm educated i was in uh, college politics university politics and i had a, definitely a world view but i realized that uh, you are as smart and as dumb as your star you know in in bollywood everything centered around star nobody cares about writer directors even the biggest of the hits i mean the recently the superstar hits you can't tell me who's the writer of those films you can tell but nobody in the public can tell so nobody cares about them your film is as big and as bad as the star at that time is and i didn't like this leaving my destiny to the destiny of a star and i didn't want to be dictated by them that was one reason and the second is i realized that i didn't come here to tell stories which people wanted to hear i came here to tell stories which only i can tell nobody else can tell in this world it can you can call it professional esteem or you can call it ego or you can call it self realization this is what i am doing now i am telling stories which only vivek ranjan agnihotri can tell nobody else can tell in this world that's the purpose that's why this switch from commercial cinema to this right but still when you say that switch happened you know what made you say okay uh, i now want to make this switch so lal badur shastri's death is the topic 
of no, I made Buddha in a traffic jam. Buddha in a traffic jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I left Bollywood. I quit. I resigned from there right. and I started teaching. So in Hyderabad, I was teaching in Indian School of Business. And that's when some students said, we have a project. They have a CSR project. They said, we want to do something on Naxal issue, a yeah. documentary. I said, you are future CEOs of the world and right. you are going to waste your money making a documentary. Go and raise funds. And they actually raised funds. <laughs> and they raised only one crore right. rupee. So in one crore, we made that film that was stuck for five years and I was bankrupt on the roads. Uh, but then I started showing it in universities and then came the turnaround. It became a cult film. And that's how uh, Tashkent Files happened. Right. So can you tell me with Tashkent, with Kashmir yes. Files and with Vaccine War, what was that one moment that made you say, this has to be my next movie? What was that spark? No, it happened, you know, when in the time when I had nothing to do, it was all dark. I was frustrated and I'm never happy. Uh, with our democracy. So one day I was sitting and looking at the emblem, uh, Indian emblem of Ashoka, the three lions. I said, who are these three lions? I said, generally sitting with my wife and children. I said, what are the three pillars of democracy? Truth, justice, and life. And these are the three things which are lacking in this country. So I said, let me make a trilogy. Uh, so, so it became a trilogy. The first one was so right. planned it as a trilogy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We announced it when we made yeah. Tashkent Files. A lot of people actually started noticing my career after Kashmir yeah. Files, just don't know. And I've been saying it right from day one. Yeah. And same thing I've been saying. So, right to truth we made. So, I said, how do I bring that truth is absent from our democracy? So, I said, okay, Lal Bahadur Shastri's death is, uh, the truth is not out. So, if the truth of the second prime minister is not out, then how do you right. uh, have a democracy? And then came right to justice. We picked up Kashmiri Pandit issue for 32 years. They haven't found justice. And the last of the trilogy is the Delhi Files. Of course, it has to end in Delhi. Right. And that is about right to life. And which I'm shooting the, next year. Yeah. Right. And that's about the partition. Yeah. From yeah. partition till date. To, oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it shows you in 70 years, 75 years, we never had right to life. Wow. That's going to be an epic then. Yeah. It's an epic. Oh. You will see Gandhi, Nehru, everybody, Jinnah, everybody. Coming to the vaccine wall, what, what, what said... Is it just the recent COVID thing that made you say, I need to make a film about all these warriors? Uh, no, it was, it was, it's not about warriors. It's not about COVID. It has nothing to do with, it's, it's a, it's a victory film. It's a war film. I mean, it, you, has, it has to do with COVID though. Uh, and yes, because vaccine was made, made because of COVID. But I mean, when you say it's COVID, you think about uh, the frontline workers and doctors and patients. It's got nothing to do with patients. It's got, you don't see any uh, patient, no doctor, nothing. It's about uh, a bunch of scientists. See what happened when the COVID came. Most of the world said India will perish. Right. Even Indians felt that. Then a small section, but a very powerful section started uh, saying that 40 crore people will die, 50 crore. Some people wanted more people to die for political reasons. I'm not saying this or that, but this is true. Uh, I mean, I have no doubt in my mind that a lot of people uh, wanted that more people die in India so they can attack the government of that day. And lots of foreign agencies then jumped in. India was the biggest vaccine uh, market. So a lot of foreign agencies were uh, arm twisting and blackmailing Indian government to buy their vaccine. At that time, they employed a lot of Indians to say that buy their vaccine, Pfizer in right. that case, or, or many other Chinese vaccine they wanted us to buy. So they started pressurizing, they started creating a narrative. But then government didn't budge because obviously it was very bad terms and that's what the film is about. Uh, they were blackmailing. When the second wave came, then these people found an aha movement, you know, and they said, aha, now people are dying, let's publicize it as much as possible. And that's why if you see the whole, um, the whole orientation of coverage of second uh, wave was showing uh, funerals, Hindu funerals. Okay, uh, but Muslims were also dying. They were not going to graves because they wanted to uh, uh, settle uh, a political issue with the government. And in that, certain scientists who believe that India can do it, while others thought India can't do it, and how they made the world's fastest indigenous vaccine. Right. So f this is a, a truly a superhero film, a genuine, authentic superhero film. Right. You've said that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In fact, the, the whole title is The Vaccine War, A True Story. Uh, Have you noticed that for the first time a film has been given a true story? Yeah, uh, so no I'll, other film is allowed to use that uh, right. ever. So my question to you is, any film, when you gather so much data and you compress it through a two hour, two and a half hour film, there is going to be some... I'm not saying falsehood, but you have to compress it for. Yeah, we have uh, to you have to 
like if there are 500 people, you have to make them three people yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. How important is truth in a movie? See, uh, now we are, we'll get into a philosophical uh, uh, sphere. What is truth? That is the question. Right. What is truth? Truth is basically in your given incomplete knowledge, okay, where you have the maximum evidence and data to support your belief at that point of time. That is nobody in this world has been able to find truth. If we had, it, if it was a conclusive thing, then there is no discussion on truth. Right. Okay. So the truth in this case was we indeed made the vaccine. That's truth. We are sitting in facing each other today talking like this. Right. That indeed is truth. Right. In, on 22nd of March, every single person in the world was thinking about death. That is truth. The whole world was shut down only once in the history of humanity in February, March till August. That is truth. You know, so these things are truth. Indian scientists were asked to go to war zone in Iran and uh, get 6,000 Shia Muslims from there. That is truth. So I have, what I have done is, which is on paper, which is undeniable, those things I have put together and made this film. So, so this is the truth, which is common denominator, acceptable truth. Right. Vivek, I want you to uh, break down a, a contradiction for me. On the one hand, there is a, there's an audience, there's a public that hugely patronizes your film, and they go in huge numbers. Kashmir Files was an undeniable blockbuster, which uh, I don't think Even was Even Tashkent Files well, for 120 yeah, 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 days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, but the money that, that Kashmir oh, yeah. Files made was unbelievable for that. Like, it, I think it, everybody was just like shell-shocked that, that, yeah, that money. Yeah. So there's on one side that. On the other hand, you have your critics yeah. uh, who say, uh, I, I'm not just talking about the film critics who, uh, you know, but I'm also talking about your, your, your people who, who say that, okay, Vivek Agnihotri is a propaganda Don't filmmaker. Shy. Please ask no, me no, honestly, I'm not I have Vivek, no problems. Vivek yeah. Agnihotri is a propaganda filmmaker. He's a, uh, you know, he's a controversial filmmaker. Yeah. What, what are your, how do you... I'm uh, a propaganda filmmaker and I want to ask a question, who's not? Right. Name one person on this earth who's not a propaganda filmmaker. Right. Name one. I, I'm, I'm not sure how you define that. No, how do you define? So I'm. So you saying, are saying propaganda. So you tell me how. No, no, happen. no. I, I'm not. I'm saying that there are there are both points of view. That there is one one huge support force yeah, for you. Yeah, that will and, happen because I'm making political films, right. and that is my intention, honestly. Right. And I'm saying it. I have an agenda. I want my films to start conversation. Right. So pre Kashmir files, nobody even knew that no Kashmiri Hindu lives in Kashmir because of terrorism. Okay, very few people knew. Right. But now everybody is discussing it. Even news channels and newspapers are forced to report even one death, one killing in Kashmir. They put it on front news, nine time, uh, prime time, 9 p.m. From Kerala to Kashmir, they report it. Earlier, it used to be like a small news in 10th page or 12th page in newspapers. I have brought it in forefront. Lal Bahadur Shastri's death. Before my film, on 2nd October, when the Prime Minister of India would tweet two tweets in the morning about Gandhiji and about Shastriji, he would go to both the uh, places, Rajghat and uh, Shastriji is this thing. If Gandhiji's tweet of Mr. Narendra Modi would get 10,000 retweets, Lal Bahadur Shastri would get 100 retweets. After my film, it's reverse, Shastri gets some 50,000 retweets and Gandhi gets still five, four, 5,000 retweets. This is how I've changed. Now, everybody in this country knows there was something fishy about Shastri's this thing. I wanted a conversation around that truth. I wanted a conversation around justice. And because of my film, Yasin Malik is in jail. So many cases have opened up. Recently, Government of India has opened Neelkan Ganju's case, which we showed in the film. Nobody in India knew that the judge of high court was shot uh, in broad daylight by Yasin Malik in Jammu and he was left to die there for so many hours. Right. So I want to start conversation on vaccine. With this film, you call it propaganda, controversial, but when the film comes, every single child will know at least that it, it is the science of virology which gave you vaccine. Nobody even knows that. Right. right. These scientists will come in foreground. People will know that there are disciplines of science besides uh, rocket science and information technology, also those glamorous uh, science. Virology is a science which saved you and that's why we are sitting together. That is my purpose. After uh, uh, Delhi files, every child in this country will know the truth of partition, whether you like it or not. This is my intention. Now, uh, Vivek, these are huge, huge subjects. How how do you go about your research? Yes, you have a background, but, but tell me very, very Quickly, how do you... Okay, like, I'll tell you. Yeah. See, normally most of the people work on secondary uh, research. Secondary research is something is written else, here yeah. or something. Yeah. 
Yeah. We work on primary research. That is the difference. Okay. We go to real people. Like uh, for Kashmir files, you know, we went to the real people. Uh, for Tashkent files, we went to the real people. In like in Delhi and in, in, in the vaccine war, we have worked with the scientists who did it. Yeah, in, in fact, you said that most of the lines are their lines are not. Yeah, they're lines. not mine. You're yeah, yeah. I'm so glad you are the best researched person I have met in my entire life. <laughs> I mean, nobody people come, they have no clue what I say and what I don't say. Okay. So and all the in no film you'll find that the uh, the roles these people are playing, they're real characters, the real, real people. I'll just show you something. Uh, it's so, so real that Dr. Priya Abraham, which Pallavi is playing, okay, she was the director of NIV, a most important person. She sent this message just now. It says, Pallavi ji, I salute you. You have correctly picked up my emotions, responses and struggles during the difficult time. Your professionalism and commitment to the role you take up make you such a celebrity. Congrats on the more... Anyway, so what I'm saying is because we spend time with them, we live with them, we talk to them and we are being able to find at primary level that what actually happened. Then we take all these interviews and pick up the most common denominator, which everybody says. See, there are like few things people exaggerate, but there are few things every single person says. And then we corroborate it with the secondary data. Right. So if somebody says that, yes, Indians had to go to Iran to get the vaccine, then we find all the reports, government reports, private reports, critics and all that. Only things which are true uh, means uh, in the given uh, scenario, we pick them up and make the film. Right. Let's talk about, I, I just saw this tweet that you retweeted. Somebody sent you this tweet. We are eagerly awaiting your work, sir. It is only you who make original content at large scale in Bollywood. Rest are all relying only on inspired or copied stuff. It is you who's keeping the Hindi, Hindi industry alive. What is your comment on that? I have no comment on that. People write, I just retweet them. Let me tell you, I don't take social media very seriously. Seriously? Okay. I do not. Okay. For me, it's just a kind of a... A circus where all of us are laughing, participating and forgetting next minute what was a joke, you know. Right. I don't take it seriously. So a lot of people write to me. I know some people, they write it because they want me to retweet. Sometimes I just do it. I'm in campaign mode right now, you know. So I just, I'm promoting my film. I'm, I'm, I'm boycotted by everybody. Nobody is writing about me. There's an embargo on the vaccine war. So... Uh, I have no option but to just blow my own trumpet. But does it hurt somewhere that, that there is this, you've given this big hit and, and nobody's acknowledging that? See, what happened recently when my trailer came? Okay, when Buddha in a traffic jam came, at least 50, 100 people reviewed that on YouTube. Right. When Tashkan filed, no money, we had no money, we released in 175 screens. At that time also, these days, if you write a poster or you just write the name Jawan, then 10,000 people come and do the review. Oh, this is written in this font, written in that font, only of the title. Of <laughs> people do so much of YouTubing these days. But such an important film when the vaccine war comes after making a 350 crore rupee film. And forget the money, I never talk about it. The kind of impact it created, nobody has reviewed it because uh, money is being paid. There is an embargo that nobody should utter our name. Uh, it doesn't hurt me. It gives me more uh, uh, drive, it gives me more motivation to work harder, but it also makes me feel very sad that what are we doing to this industry? We are, it's like, it's like they call other people fascist, who is a fascist here? Okay, they, if the stars are going to dictate the future of film industry, somebody has to fight it. So I am that disruptor, I am that opposition, I am that uh, person who is challenging the establishment. My philosophy is simple. You must have seen all these stars stand up and go to protest and they say our job is to challenge the establishment. I say, uh, I make movies. First, my first dharma is to challenge the establishment of movies. If I cannot challenge that, I have no bloody right to challenge anything else. Right. You followed up Tashkent Files with a book, uh, with all the extra research that you had. And then you followed up Kashmir Files with a, a documentary which was on Z5. Is there a follow-up to the vaccine war as well? Because I'm assuming that this... Yeah, this time I've done it differently. This time I've taken, see, the, 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 the script of uh, the vaccine war was uh, almost 190 pages. There are some 130 scenes which we have deleted from the film. We couldn't. I documented everything which happened, but then we shot everything. But, you know, in the film, you cannot do that. So uh, that book is coming out now, I think, uh, in very, very soon, maybe uh, coinciding uh, with the film. So that is coming out. So people get to get will get the entire picture A to Z uh, in the book. Now, 
about uh, the Delhi fights, which is going to be our next project. Have you begun work on it? Oh, yeah, the research is over. My DOP has come from US and he's an Indian guy, but he works in Hollywood. So they are already the production designer. Everybody is working when I am traveling. Once I go back, they'll make presentations. Hopefully, we are planning to start in Jan January uh, 2024. Right. Uh, two last questions. One is, uh, in the trailer of Vaccine War, you have this Srishti Se Pehle Sat Nahi Tha. What made you say that fit in there? Because at, at least for my generation, I think most of us knew through Bharat, Bharat Ek Khoj. You know, yeah, actually, it is a, it's not Bharat Ek Khoj. This is a, this is a sukht from Rig Veda. Rig Veda, yeah. No, no, I know, but it was we know it from the... the even I know it from there. Yeah. And also, I know it because Pallavi was uh, in Bharat Ek Khoj. Yeah, she yeah. played all those roles. Uh, see, so what happened that uh, during when COVID came, everybody was thinking about cosmos, life, who created this, where are we from, where have we come from, yoga, Ayurveda, everything. We are going back to the roots of the origin of this universe and is it the end? Everybody thought this is the end. We are forgetting, but that time that was the uh, mainstream conversation all over the world. And I realized that everybody is talking about Big Bang Theory. I got interested and I uh, read. But then much before that, we had this, in fact, Javed Akhtar sent me a brilliant message. Should I read it? it I think its audience will enjoy it because only a genius like Javed Akhtar can write something like this. He, we performed this, uh, uh, at uh, Times Square, right? you know, and uh, huge, I mean, this was uh, extraordinary. So Javed Akhtar saw it and then he wrote to me after seeing my thing. He said, Vivek Sahab, this is a hymn from Rig Veda, which I have recently read. He didn't know about it. One's heart fills with pride that one is born in the land of such philosophers who many millennium ago could look at the universe like a grandmaster would look at a chessboard and imagine all the possible moves. I am really moved and overawed, you know, after seeing my uh, video. So only a genius like Javed Akhtar can write. A lot of people think that, okay, I have critics and this thing, but people privately keep writing to me lots of things differently. Lots of people who you may assume don't like me, uh, actually I have a different relationship with them. So these days everybody is posturing. So this came, so I said it's important to tell the new generation and we fit it so beautifully. So I bought the rights of it, I made it and now it's cool. It's already so popular and after the film it's going to be so popular because in the film it really touches you and you, you f surrender to that spirituality. And this is not religion. This is a spiritual philosophy, yeah, spiritual yeah, yeah. questioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That where have we come? I was just curious because of the of the placement and the. It's beautifully yeah. placed in the yeah. film, and I want it because uh, in only in India, spirituality and science go together. You cannot differentiate between them. All our philosophers, our scientists, are uh, spiritual people. Most of them. So that's why I brought it in. Right, and finally, why the vaccine war? Because I thought you could have made the vaccine files. No, I didn't want to fall in that trap. You know, it was very easy and I'm telling you very, very honestly, uh, uh, God is witness to this, uh, that after Kashmir files, every single studio is standing, giving me 200 crores, 300 crores. Every star has called me privately and they want to uh, do with me the Delhi files or Kashmir files part two. Anybody in his right senses would make Kashmir files part two. But I... You have the material. I can. I mean, who needs material if you can make Houseful 4, Houseful 5, who needs material? I mean, to make money, I could have done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what point I'm making is that it was easy, easy. for me to do even after one year, two years. But I didn't fall, want to fall in that trap. So we went back and made a smaller film. We struggled so hard. For 50 days, I haven't slept. Pallavi and I running around, running around. I don't have to do that. I can put, but whatever mon little money we earn, we have put it back into this film. And if this film doesn't work, Okay, I'm back to where I was before uh, Kashmir Files at 2 square 1. This is how we are, this is how we make our films. And people don't understand it because this is not a template. We have broken all the templates, we have disrupted the whole system. That's why people think that I'm a crazy man and I should be criticized. And <laughs> that's the thing, nothing, I'm as normal as possible. So all the best for Vaccine War and thank you for the conversation. And it's really an honor for me. I always wanted to meet you and talk to you and you do such a great job. Thank you. In this world of mediocrity, you stand out. I'm telling you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Holidays Nale, Adinama GT Holidays Ta. South India's number one travel brand. New way learning through 5D.